Hello, this is Kristen David from Up Leveling Your Business. I'm here today with another biz hack for busy business owners. And today we're gonna cover doing a block calendar to balance the four pillars of successful business management. This way you can start to learn to get a feel for where you should be spending your precious time because time is our most precious asset that we have. So let's jump right in and talk about the four pillars of successful management. First of all, you've got planning. Over here in one category, you've got to be paying attention to your short-term goals, what you're trying to accomplish in that short term, which is usually cash flow and balancing all the things that need to be done with the longer term goals. And that includes, do you want to scale this and grow it? Do you want to make it saleable down the road? So you got to have a little bit of planning done each and every week so that you're making steps forward. You know where you're going and you're making steps forward to get to those goals. The next second pillar of growth is marketing and sales. Number one rule, if your business is not selling, your business is dying, unfortunately. So you've got to target that marketing. You've got to create a plan that you're going to execute on. And then you want to systematize your business and your marketing so it's running without you and it's bringing in more clients, customers, patients, people that you work with. All right. The third pillar is the management component. Uh, this is kind of the life in the trenches, the day-to-day -day operations, the staffing, the policies, the procedures. Uh, this is also hiring and also firing. Sometimes you have to say goodbye to some people that you've outgrown. And finally, there's the office and the equipment, the things that help you do business. So we've got to balance in some time to work on those elements. And then finally, there's the financials. You've got to be a good money manager. That means having good financial controls in place, understanding your profits, understanding the profit margins you're trying to obtain, uh, making sure it's not just money in and money out, money in and money out, money in and money out. Because we've all been there. I know no judgment zone. I've been there too as a business owner. So you've got to make a plan and plan for that scalability and surround yourself with a great team. So how are we gonna balance these with a calendar? So let's just kind of jump in with another color here. For your planning, you probably want about a half a day a week. I know this seems like a lot, but if you want that fast growth, you gotta start spending time where it matters. Then depending on where you are in your business, two to three days of marketing. Now, if you can't get all that marketing time in right now, make it one full day or three half days. Break it up if you need to, but you gotta make sure that the business is coming in. Then management. Management is another one that's gonna be a good two days uh, of you know life in the trenches. Hopefully you're not doing all the work. Um, maybe it's three days uh, if you're still doing all the work. So if if you're doing all the work here, you're maybe only doing two days of marketing here. If you've got other people on your team, maybe you spend three days marketing and, uh, or two and a half days marketing and two and a half days of management. Uh, because yes, you gotta spend about five and a half days a week kind of working on this business, but it doesn't all have to be nine to five. That's the good news. Uh, because the financial controls is only about a quarter of a day. That's just once you, get into speed, get used to looking at your financial reports, following up on financial issues, that part doesn't take much time. The bulk of it is marketing and management. And especially if you've planned out what you need to do, you'll be more effective in those times. So how can we block our calendar out and how can we make this something that is gonna be helpful for you? All right, so first of all, if you're interested in getting a copy of this block calendar, jump on over to our website, www.thekristendavid.com, and you can grab one of these. So you might say, you know, Monday mornings are client uh, time or, you know, patient or whatever it is, the, whatever service you're providing. And that might go on for, you know, a couple hours on Monday morning. Maybe you like to do some of your uh, marketing 
uh, say two o'clock to five o'clock uh, on on Monday afternoon. So we've got to build in some marketing time. And maybe you're gonna have your financial controls on Wednesday morning, 8 a.m., where you meet with your bookkeeper and you handle whatever needs to be done. So we're gonna add 90 minutes in there. So you just start to block in these times of when it's gonna work best for you. Here's an example of something I used in my business. This was my old weekly calendar. I had in my law firm, Client Matters, Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings, bunch of that admin management time on Tuesdays and Thursdays, trainings, working on making the business better. Uh, the bookkeeping financial was Thursday mornings. I would do telephone calls every day after lunch. A lot of that was marketing calls. I also did marketing events on Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday evenings, going to networking events, some Saturdays doing some different activities. So this was just to get you started, giving you an idea how you can block out your calendar. So again, if you want this handy block calendar, start plugging in your times and start finding some things that work for you, jump on over to our website, check it out. And remember, it's a work in progress, but first of all, understand how you wanna spend your time that will help you start spending your time more effectively in the places that matter. All right, there's another biz hack to help you up-level your business, get started.